Good morning. Day uh, 223 of Bamford Baxter Day 197 on the AD. Just leaving my uh, uh, tent site here. Absolutely beautiful place. The water was hitting the shore all night, um, which was a very uh, relaxing sound all night and to wake up to. But just getting started here i've got like about eight miles to get to the a ball bridge and then when i get there i gotta figure out where i'm staying tonight there's a couple different camping options at the i think at the restaurant there and then there's a state park i could stay at or i think you can camp along the shoreline so i haven't figured that out yet and i gotta register for the birches which would be tomorrow night um the night there the day before summit um so i'm just getting moving this morning but i thought i i would uh address one thing in this intro for today i've been asked uh already more than a couple times about if i'm hiking the pct or cdt and uh nope <laughs> right now i have no plans to hike another 2000 mile trail so i just want to put that out there um i am grateful for the opportunity to do this i viewed this as a once in a lifetime opportunity to hike a 2000 plus mile trail and i am extremely thankful and grateful to my wife for encouraging me to do this she knew i needed this um which is why you know she told me to quit my job and just just go do it um so i'm really thankful for that but this has being away from home for seven and a half months that's a long time and that puts a lot of extra stress and pressure on her which people don't realize that um but I mean, I'm, there's definitely other through hikes I want to do, other shorter, shorter ones, but um, I don't do any of these without talking to her and getting her blessing first. It's a joint decision when I do these trips. Um, so thanks, babe. I, man, I, uh, I appreciate it. I owe you everything. This is exactly what I needed, so uh, thank you. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. No plans on the PCT, CDT. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to do other shorter, shorter through hikes. Um, I do like the through hiker it, not, culture and just the experience overall. It's amazing. I think it's something that everyone should do once in a lifetime. It's uh, an experience like no other, but onward we go yesterday I passed my uh, 2600 mile mark and my common theme the past like two to three days in talking to people is uh I am so sick and tired of eating. I'm just done eating. Like, just stuffing my face with food every day. I'm just, I'm just tired of eating. <laughs> Which uh, sounds kind of crazy, but man, I eat and eat and eat just to try and keep up my energy levels. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. Um, but around the Abel Bridge, I'll be meeting my friends from Mountain Blaze Arts again, uh, Dave and Sumiko, Slow Foot and Viewfinder, which will be nice to see them again. Last time I'll see them before I uh, uh, finish this through hike. And they asked me what kind of food I want. Uh, I can't, it's hard to even think about food, but what I really, crave out here is just like a ham and cheese sandwich so they're gonna bring me two sandwiches so that will be good because right now I can't really think about eating food today at the moment onward here we go
made it to the Herb Brook Lean To. It's the last shelter headed northbound on the Appalachian Trail. This is crazy. I've passed by so many shelters. Stayed in some, not too many, but a few. But this looks like it has the original floorboards, um, which is like this just rounded um, uh, tree branch, I guess. Uh, most of them in the 100 mile wilderness they've been replaced with more of a flat floor so it's more comfortable to sleep on but i think i've only got like four miles to the a-ball bridge so onward we go uh, officially made it out of the 100 mile wilderness i am glad to be out because those first two days were absolutely treacherous only point on this trip I felt my life was in danger uh, but the last six I guess were good so onward we go to A-Ball Bridge made it to the A-Ball Bridge tied in in the clouds how freaking cool is this this bridge is so iconic to the uh, Appalachian Trail. I am so close to ending this uh, through hike. I just wish I could see her. Man. Pretty cold, pretty cold. Onward we go. Well, made it over to the ranger station. Since the ranger station's closed the next two days, it's a self-register. There's only 12 spots available on the Birches, so I was able to get over there. I am number five at the Birches for tomorrow night, which is basically the last place I'll camp before I summit Katahdin. Right now, uh, right over there is the A-Ball Bridge. I'm set up at the A-Ball Campground with a perfect view of Katahdin. There's my tarp set up. So, uh, the Abel Pines is down the street here. It sounds like it's going to be one hell of a party over there tonight. I've been avoiding the party crowd, so... I thought it'd be great to wake up with a view of Katahdin, so well worth the, uh... I think it's 30 bucks to stay here. So, pretty cool. Yeah, just waiting for my friends to show up. Dave and Sumiko from Mountain Blaze Arts. So, looking forward to seeing them again. But thanks everyone for watching. I hope you all have a good night. Oh, my friend's uh, slow foot viewfinder. She's over there, a little camera shot. <laughs> they showed up, brought a bunch of sandwiches. So thanks, guys. I appreciate that. And they brought my buddy Mountain Bear. I don't know how this is going to go, but Mountain Bear is going to climb Katahdin with me in a couple days. But he's got like a bottle of wine, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go. He was supposed to uh, carry me up the mountain, but I don't know. But thanks, guys. You're I welcome. greatly appreciate it. Happy Thank trails. Congratulations, Congratulations. Patrick. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mountain Bear. Just I hope you sober up by Friday. So. I'll be ready for tomorrow morning, Mike. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching i hope y'all have a good night good morning day uh 224 bam and baxter day 198 on the at i got my little buddy uh main mountain bear here with me we're just uh leaving camp one last look at katahdin before we go uh i can't remember how far we got today nine or ten miles uh to get over to the birches at the base of mount katahdin so yeah what do you say mountain bear onward we go papa bear there you have it onward we go oh after much delay and multiple failed attempts to call my wife for the last time before i finish uh me and uh mountain bear we're off last night was uh really special for me getting to spend 
uh, last night around the campfire with uh, slow foot and viewfinder, uh, aka Dave and Sumiko. Um, that was really cool and special. Um, Slowfoot's done this hike three times. Um, and so anyone that's done this knows that at the end you go through some mixed emotions. Um, I personally am ready to be done with this, but the last time, or at the same time, I have really had a great time these past seven and a half months. And it's given me uh, everything that I needed. Everything I was hoping to get by coming out here. But being with someone that's been through this, not only was he able to give me some information, tips and tricks, tricks and tips about this last climb that's coming up tomorrow going over Katahdin, but he's also able to share his experience and knowledge on kind of like the I guess I'd call it the re-entry back into society after this is over which is that is always helpful um yeah so just uh making my way down the trail just taking my time to get over to um to the birches today where i will that'll be my last night spent on trail and then tomorrow me and mountain bear um along with this pack that i've been carrying for this whole entire through hike uh well not this exact pack but basically all my gear we will make our way up katahdin onward we go that's probably some of the most emotional miles I've hiked on this trip. On that, I'll be done tomorrow. Uh, I was asked a few times how I became so mentally tough on this trip, and I don't know if it's so much mentally tough, but I am reminded today of something my brother Monk told me before I even started this trip. Yeah, he gave me so much good advice um, for this through hike. He said if he could have one paid job in the world, he would love to be responsible for interviewing potential through hikers because they would inevitably uh, ask the question, you know, what if this, what if that, what if I encounter bad weather, what if I encounter rain, snow, you know, whatever the question might be. His response would always be, you walk, you keep walking. And he said, that's all you got to do. <laughs> no matter how tough it gets, you just keep putting one foot in front of the other and you keep walking. And uh, that's all I've done for the past seven and a half months. Regardless of what's happened, I've just kept walking forward. So I don't know if it's mental toughness or just stubbornness, knowing that all we gotta do is make forward progress each day and it would get me to the end of this journey. And in the process, you know, learn a few things about myself, I guess. But I'm also at the same time reminded of, you know, from a little kid, or my dad always raised us, that you give everything you got and whatever you're doing, don't ever quit. There is no quit. Once you start something, you finish it, you give it your 110%, and you just there's no quitting there was never an option to quit things that we started and that's carried with me my whole life and certainly has played a huge part in this trip so i'm reminded of those things both of those things today so i don't know it's it's a big day
but thankfully it's a nice easy path to walk on today Mountain bear, what the hell, man? It's time to break time's over. Time to get moving. All right, Papa Bear. Well, we made it. Good job, Mountain Bear. He was a tough little guy today. Still not quite 11 miles. I reached the Cantadon Stream Campground, which is down there. That's where the AT continues. That's where I'll head uh, tomorrow morning to uh, finish up this through hike. But I'm headed down this way to um, to the birches, uh, where uh, they allow through hikers to stay. Usually it's 12 people, but I think there's a lot more staying there tonight. So headed down to the birches for this evening. On word we go. I made it to the birches last uh, night on trail. Staying in the shelter here. There's two of them. Each holds like four or five people. And there's a tent platform setting up here. Setting up for the last time on this through hike. Get up tomorrow. Finish this thing up. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you all have a good night.